Hey, welcome to Mary's Kind of Crafty. I'm Mary. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for stopping by, and I hope you decide to stick around. If you are already part of my crafty family, thank you for your continued support. Every like, comment, and share really does help my channel get noticed. I was invited to participate in the Easter Around the World collaboration with 32 amazing creators participating. There are four amazing giftaways, three $50 Amazon cards, and one Easter basket full of goodies. To enter the giftaway, you must be a U.S. resident. You will need to comment on each creator's video with their secret word. The deadline to enter is March 25th. The winners will be announced on March 26th. I will give you my secret word a little bit later in the video. Let's start crafting. I found this adorable shelf at Target in the bullseye area for $5 and I decided that I was going to turn it into a little hen house. So I start by giving the shelf a coat of folk art in antique wax and I allow that to dry. I usually use a paintbrush to apply my antique wax and just let it dry. I like the richer color. If you prefer a lighter color, you could definitely apply it with a baby wipe or if you're using a paintbrush, wipe it off with a baby wipe as you paint. And I also paint the room dividers for the shelf as well. I am doing this video in honor of my maternal grandparents that immigrated to the US from Yugoslavia in the early 1900s. My grandfather was Hungarian and my grandmother was Croatian. I learned about this cute tradition that Hungarians do the Monday after Easter. The men sprinkle the women with water. Nowadays they use perfume and in return the women will gift them with these beautifully painted eggs as pictured above and maybe some pastries. I do plan on learning the technique to paint these eggs, but it is an art that you don't learn overnight. So I am making simple eggs in honor of the reason we have Easter, Jesus Christ, and to honor my grandparents as well. So here I am and I'm giving each egg a coat of folk art chalk paint in the color white and I'm going to paint the entire egg. I do give them actually two coats of paint. I decided not to go with the bright Easter colors for my eggs. I just wanted to keep them simple and farmhouse, so I'm just keeping them white. But if you choose to add colors to your eggs, go ahead and do it. It's all in the eye of the beholder. So here I am, and I'm going to use that same folk art white chalk paint, and I'm going to give the entire shelf along with the walls a dry brushing and it's a heavy dry brushing. I want it to look very rustic. If you're looking to be inspired to think kind of crafty, a link for the collaboration playlist is in my description box. And you'll also have the opportunity to enter into the gift away. Best of luck to you. And once my paint has dry, I go ahead and I add back on the dividers into my shelf. So during the great toilet paper shortage, my husband ordered from his company some toilet paper that had these blue rings in the center of the rolls. And I kept them because I thought they looked like tires. Well, anyways, I'm giving them a coat of Mod Podge and then a coat of Apple Barrel paint in the color Milk Chocolate. Now I'm taking some of these tumbling tower blocks from the small package that has the multicolor and I glue them together. I don't use those, so I'm not going to get into it. And then here I am weeding my words that I cut out with my Cricut Joy. I found the image on Cricut of the three crosses that represent um, the cross that Jesus was crucified on and the two thieves that were crucified alongside him and I place that on one of the eggs. And I'm going to put that egg on one of those round rings up on the top of the shelf. And I'll show you that later on in the video. So for my secret word, we're gonna use the word risen. And I'll mention my secret word a little bit later on in the video again, in case you forget or you missed it. 
So do you see all of those rings that I went ahead and painted? Well, I use one of them, one of them. So what a waste of time. Anyways, you can see here that the weeding of the vinyl was a big pain in the old dupa. It took me forever. I literally had to pray for patience. I actually stop on this piece here and I go and I um, remove the little um, insides of the letters with my hook just to give myself a little break because I was getting frustrated. Um, I do end up amazingly I get everything weeded without having to reprint any of the words. Um, the reason why it was so hard is because the font that I chose was so thin and, and it's tinier because I'm placing it on egg. So it just makes it really hard to weed just so that you're aware of that. So then I figured out that it is easier to weed these words um, if they're separated. So I cut them apart and then I continue just taking my time and weeding. And I know it doesn't look like it took me a long time, but I have this sped up so much you would not believe it. It took me forever. So anyways, I'm not going to make you watch me weed them all, but here are the words that I weeded. I'll give you a close up of them. Um, I've got risen, which is my secret word, Christ, blessed, peace, Jesus, forgiven, lamb, hope, faith. And I missed one of the words, but I did show it. Um, I think it was, uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe love. It could have been love. Well, anyways, I go ahead and I transfer my words with transfer tape onto my eggs that part was not as tedious. They seem to cling on to the egg very well. And I do like the fact that I painted the eggs white. And this is the reason why I did it is because when it's not Easter, I can simply turn the egg around and it's just a regular egg. There's nothing on it. And it's very farmhouse, really cute for a kitchen for the sh And you can hang that shelf or just set it on the counter. It's your choice. But here I am just showing you that I'm taking transfer tape and placing each of these words onto an egg. If you'd like to be part of my crafty family, I would love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications on videos. So you can see here, I try using the tumbling tower block um, stand that I made along with the brown um, plastic circle it was just too much up there and I was going to, I'm going to be adding some Spanish moss and I didn't want it to be overly crowded it just made it hard to work with so I end up removing the tumbling tower blocks and my idea of using all of those rings for the other eggs they just didn't fit the spaces in the shelves were just a little bit too small if I would have purchased a little bit smaller egg um, it would have definitely have worked. Um, but I'm very strategic as to where I'm placing the eggs because I just want it to look a certain way. And you can do it whichever way you want to do it. But once I have that all planned out, I go ahead and I start adding my Spanish moss to my hen house and I start placing the eggs where I want them. I purchased my eggs from Amazon and I'll link them in my description box below. And while I'm placing the Spanish moss into my shelf, into the divided areas, I'm taking my finger and kind of um, pushing it down in the center so that the eggs have like a little resting spot to sit in and it helps keep them in place. And one last time, my secret word is risen. If you're interested in what type of vinyl that I use when crafting, I usually just buy the Cricut vinyl and I buy it when it's on sale. And as a finishing touch to our little hen house here, I just trim the Spanish moss to clean up the shelf a bit and any excess moss that I've trimmed off, I use by tucking it behind the eggs on the shelf here and there just to help push them forward and as extra filler. But I love how this turned out so much. It's so versatile. It could be set on your kitchen counter. It could be set 
Um, it could be hung on the wall. It can be used all year around by just changing out the decorations. I plan on using it for some tear tray for very miniature um, craft items. I think that would be so fun. What do you guys think about my little hen house and how it turned out? I think it's beautiful and it gives the true meaning of Easter. Here is a final look at my little hen house I created. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Please take a moment and watch all of the other amazing creators on the playlist and I wish you luck in the gift away. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I hope I was able to inspire you to think kind of crafty. Bye. See ya.